listens live. And it is a celebration. With your host, John Ramsey. And welcome into the Feel Good Friday edition of Wave 3 Listens Live. I am genuinely excited about the show. This studio is full of entertaining and very talented people. Uh, today on the show, the Venardo Circus. Okay, you're going to see jugglers, you're going to see comedians, you're going to see magic, you're going to see acrobats. It's all there, and we'll tell you how you can see it, and that happens at the Waterfront Park. Also, you know, school lunches can be very stressful. With us today is Brandy Alexander, and she's going to talk about Freely Foods, the first ever heat and eat lunch pouch. The youth performing arts folks are here. You know them better as y -Pass, and they've got a new performance of Anonymous. And Feeder Supply has partnered with Exoterra Exotic Reptiles, and they're going to have a show. And it is a show and tail, T-A-I-L. I like the play on words there. And these reptiles are absolutely beautiful. With me now is Amanda Lambert with Feeder Supply. Hello, Amanda. Hello. Okay, what's your, what's your friend's name, Amanda? This is, well, this one right here. <laughs> does he have a name? He does. His name is John, and he is a red dragon, blood red dragon. He's absolutely beautiful. And he Steve is. Sotelo. Steve, yes, sir. Steve, you're with Exoterra uh, Exotic Reptiles, yes. right? Yes, yes. Okay, so you're the expert here, all right? Yes, sir. Now, yeah, uh, there's, I think there's some misconceptions about reptiles. They don't make good pets. Uh, they pass along disease. I think these are misconceptions. I've had reptiles, some of my favorite pets. They're beautiful. They're interesting. Tell me a little bit about why they do make good pets, Steve. Um, you know, I think if you look at the amount we have here, they're so variable. You know, we have things that live in very cool environments. Environments, very wet environments, up to desert animals like these. Uh, they can be extremely long lived. You have a red foot tortoise here that can go anywhere between 25 to 50 years upwards. You have a lizard here, which is basically this is a Euromastix from Egypt. He's beautiful. And it's a tortoise without a shell. So they're strictly herbivorous. They only eat fruits and vegetables. And these guys could also live about 30 to 40 years. Okay, and, and this guy here who doesn't seem to be real excited. Mm -hmm. He's not, you know, this show is not exactly stimulating yes. him at all. You know, th it's doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's, it's sitting out, realizing that when you look at it, it looks like dead leaves. So if it doesn't move, it's not going to be seen. Okay, I think a lot of people are always curious about, okay, what age group is appropriate to have reptiles for a pet because they're not, I wouldn't say they're high maintenance, but mm -hmm. I wouldn't say they're low maintenance and you certainly, how, how would you describe them as um, You know, I think everyone is going to be a little different. Bearded Dragon, the one Amanda's holding, is the most popular reptile pet in the United States by a wide, wide margin. And the reason is they're very friendly, they're interactive, they move around, they do things throughout the day. Um, and then you start moving towards things that are maybe a little more labor intensive to keep, like a chameleon species. Wow, what, what colors is he picking up on because uh, he's gorgeous. You know, these guys what they'll do is it's mood based so a lot of times if they see a female they'll start to color up a little bit this guy will go bleak, you know white and black he'll go orange eyes yellow eyes so you're saying he has a crush purple. on you steve because he is I he hope, is really i hope up. so this is my <laughs> office buddy so he's always watching me i think he's just showing off today wow okay so tell us about the show and that's tomorrow right from it's two to tomorrow four. two to four at our preston highway store it's free open to the public they can come view all the reptiles ask steve questions we'll kind of talk about setups and then we have one on Sunday at our new Jeffersonville store from 2 to 4 as well. Feeder Supply, uh, all the things you need for all the pets you feed. Correct. I love Feeder Supply. Yep. And I like the fact that you've you know, partnered with, because it's, a lot of it is about education. If your children want pets or if you want a pet, you got to know, hey, what kind of setup? What temperature do they like? Exactly. What do they eat? How often do I feed them? Now, Steve, she said question and answer session. Yes. You'll be there to answer these questions. I'll be there right? for, yes, both days. All right, fantastic. So what's some of the most common questions you get about reptiles? I can tell you, by far. It's does it bite? Does it bite? Here we By go. How far does it bite? And you know, everything we brought here aren't known for biting, but you know, you make something a little angry. Sure. All, it has a mouth, but uh, most of these guys are not in tune. You know, that frog has no grip on it whatsoever. These guys are more interested in chewing on some green vegetables. Tortoises, you know, if you get caught by a tortoise, then you're a pretty slow individual. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to tell you a story. So I was always fascinated with the reptiles. Mm -hmm. Had snakes, turtles, and I, when I was younger. So I get this, um, this ball python. As you know, they're pretty docile, yes. right? So I get a ball python, and it was an, a, an event in my neighborhood whenever I'd go get a, a mouse to mm -hmm. feed him. And... My son accidentally, he, um, he had the smell of the mouse mm -hmm. on him, and he reached into the cage. And the snake was ready to eat, mm -hmm. so he bit him. That was the end of that snake. Yeah. Um, you know, that was like, okay, as far as took him back to the pet mm -hmm. store, they were very appreciative. 
But I love that snake. But I do understand. Once you scare a kid, it's it's all. Oh, it's it's hard to come back. I mean, I can't say that that didn't happen to me when I was a little kid. I was a crybaby when I was catching <laughs> lizards at two years old, and then it just got to a point where I got you know I got over the fear that initial reaction. You're like, you know, it's not that bad. I did something to cause the snake to do this. So let's try to fix that on how I interact with the pet and go forward. You know, same thing like trying to steal dog from a food or steal food from a dog. You know, you got you to right. be wary of something right. like that. So it's it's the same with reptiles. Okay, now Amanda, well, yep. you talked about the fact that I have setups and everything. Will some of these reptiles be for sale? Uh, these are these are not for sale, but we do have several reptiles in our stores that are for sale. And actually, this week, the reptiles are 50% off with the purchase of a setup, which is the hood, the tank, the terrarium. Wow, the cameras absolutely love these. They are so pretty. There's the information up on the screen about the event. And Feeder Supply, uh, you know, if you have a pet, you know about Feeder Supply. How many locations now, Amanda? We have 23. 23 locations. Across Kentucky and Indiana. Yeah, and what I love is it is all the things you need for all the pets exactly. you Exactly. We're just not about dogs and cats. We have the reptiles, the fish, birds. Steve, I, I, I could spend an entire show talking to you. Can you can you pull this guy out and let everybody have a look at him? Sure, sure. Because uh, I want the camera to see just how gorgeous. Now, what what kind of uh, lizard is so he? This doing? is this is an, an ornate Euromastix, and you kind of see a lot of blues, greens, yellows. So when he warms wow. up, it's electric. It looks like a pastel pastel Van Gogh painting. It's pretty unreal. But he's a mellow baby. He's about 12 years. He's about 12 years old or so. So they do live a long time, and I've got quite a few of these, but this is definitely the boy that I tend to bring around the most with me whenever I do traveling and I do educational shows. So, Steve, it's more than an occupation for you. I'm, I'm just gathering here. You, you own a lot of these. Yeah, products. it's been a lifelong. It's been a lifelong hobby. I mean, we're on the manufacturing side now, so it's kind of it's a different it's a different beast. But we do, you know, as Amanda was saying, we do a lot of the care products related to the reptiles. These just happen to be my office pets. All right, and Amanda, you're not squeamish, are you? I'm you're not. not scared. I'm not. I'm not. After having two kids, you're not. <laughs> I, I didn't get that correlation there, but I'm good with it. I understand. Okay, once again, let's show you the event before we move on here. Here's the big event that is happening. Feeder Supply. That happens tomorrow, 2 to 4, and you see the location up there on your screen. Okay, coming up, Wide Pass has a new production. We're going to talk all about it. If you want some real entertainment, this show is entertaining. Welcome to Feel Good Friday on Wave 3 Listens Live.